All right, news reporter Morgan Dean, a bachelor himself, is taking a look at the future this morning. Uh, you know, you mentioned me being a bachelor, John. I might not need a wife with this brand new house. It's the interactive house of the future. Let me tell you, 2001 is just about here. And let me tell you, this is the neatest thing. It's all computerized. You can use all kinds of neat things around the house. They're all hooked into the computer, all hubbed up. Very cool. We'll be messing with the house and doing all kinds of cool stuff that's coming up. Stay with us. Have you always imagined uh, living your life like George Jetson? Not really. The flying car is still a thing of the future, but the totally automated home is here today. And our 8 News reporter Morgan Dean joins us from the interactive home. Morgan, this sounds pretty cool. Uh, guys, let me tell you, this is very cool. We joke about living like George Jetson. That is exactly what you get. Not Rosie the Robot or the flying car quite yet. Everything else, we're talking about the automated home. We're down here at the Invensys headquarters where they've set up one of these houses. John Sherwood joins us this morning to tell us a little bit more about the interactive home. Thanks for getting up this morning. Good morning. Glad to be here. You've got computers everywhere in the place, neat gadgets, neat gizmos. Tell us about the interactive home. Okay, the purpose of the interactive home is to add comfort, convenience, and safety to your home, to let systems in your home take care of the mundane, routine chores that you don't want to have to do so that you can have more quality time with your kids or your family and do more leisure activities. One of my favorite things with it is that you can control everything by, by this uh, computer console here right on, on the front of the refrigerator, and it's making cooking and grocery shopping pretty easy. Tell us about that. Okay, well, one of the things that's a real chore is making sure that you've got all the right ingredients when you want to cook something. So we've got some examples here of what you can do. Um, and our system allows you, for example, to go in and get suggestions for meals. We're working with our friends at Kraft Foods, part of Philip Morris here in Richmond. And they've helped us demonstrate how our computer can identify what's in your fridge, what you've got to cook with tonight, and then give you some ideas of exactly what it is you could do with that to come up with something new and exciting for your family or just for you if you live alone. And you can also take the products out, and you've got something neat over this way to show us. When you sure take do. the product out... Okay, Frank Walters is going to show you what you'd be able to do. If you don't know how to cook a particular product, but you want to actually do it for the first time, Frank will show you what we've been able to develop here. Yeah, we're offering mom and dad a little help in the kitchen at mealtime. Uh, we decide what item we want to prepare for dinner, say our stovetop oven classics. We go to our kitchen assistant and our easy package cooking instructions. We identify our product on our smart counter here. We just wave it across the, the reader. Okay, so that has a scanner in there that reads what the product is. Right. It goes out to the manufacturer's website, downloads the ingredients, the preparation instructions. We can add ingredients to our shopping list if we need to. If we need a little extra help, we can get some hand holding from the manufacturer. The Look at that. So that's yeah. telling us how to cook it step by step off the internet, correct? That's correct. And then once we have all of our ingredients together and we're actually ready to uh, put the meal in the oven, and we're talking to the oven, we go get the cooking instructions for this particular product and we send it right down to the oven. Perfect. And we're ready to put the food in. And we can hear the oven already back in the background starting to heat up and preheat for everything you want to do. This is just one of the many, many different things that the Interactive House of the Future does. This is just one itty-bitty little thing. It controls everything in the house from lighting to heating to television to DVD player to computer. Very neat. Throughout the show this morning, we're going to be looking at all these different things. And the best part, uh, parts of it were created by folks right here in Richmond with Invensys. John and Gwen, back to you. That is very neat. It's very, very cool. They've been showing me. And let me tell you, it's taken 45 minutes just to show me all the different stuff on this thing. It is mm -hmm. so cool. We'll be looking at it throughout the next hour, too. Now, when they get to the point where you just push the button and it'll cook it'll it completely. It'll cook the food. Exactly. We'll call, that's when you need to call me. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Spit it out just like George Jetson. That's Will we go in the bathroom of the house? Uh, can, there's no bathroom down here, John. Oh, there's not. No, no. no not I real, want, real you can't house flush it from the kitchen quite yet. That's I not. want a shower, and this is when I'm getting up in the morning. I want a shower where I step out and just get hit with air and I'm dry. Mm -hmm. Well, Tell them to work to, on that. You may have to wait for, uh, for George Jetson for that one, John. <laughs> but, uh, the other neat aspect of this is if you're at work and you want to turn the lights uh -huh. on so that they're on, on by the time you get home from, you can uh, email from your computer. Well, not really email, but you can type it into your computer at work. And it'll cut it'll turn the lights on from work. It's mm -hmm. so neat. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. Thanks, Morgan. Sure. I have seen where it will start your bath water. You can program it that what time you'll be home, and it will start your bath water and keep it hot until you get there. That's nice. That's we welcome you back at 623. In the home of the future, the strongest computer in the house will not be the PC in your office. It will be the master computer that runs all the devices in your home and takes some of the headache 
out of housework. Our eight news reporter Morgan Dean joins us now from a working version of this futuristic home. Morgan, uh, what's it look like? Uh, it is very, very cool, guys. We're down here at the Invensys headquarters uh, over here near Willow Lawn. And let me tell you, they've built a mock-up of the house of the future. It is very, very cool. You guys were talking about all the different computer monitors and computer consoles that run everything. This is just one of them, and it sits on the fridge, one of the many different consoles that you can run stuff in here. John Cherud joins us again this morning to talk more about the house of the future. Thanks for getting up this morning. Morning. Uh, when I came in here, I started thinking to myself, wow, how much fresh wiring did you guys have to put in to, to hook up all this stuff? But you really didn't, did you? No, we didn't. I mean, we've spent a lot of time engineering it so that all of this technology will work with existing homes. So it uses the existing power lines in your house, the existing coax to your TV, and then it uses radio for those devices that are hard to reach. Perfect. Now, we're talking about all the different kinds of things that you can do with just one console. We're going to pan around here and show you one of the consoles, say the one that's uh, in, in your kitchen that can run all the different neat things that you've got out there. Okay. Uh, this is an example of what you might have on your kitchen counter. And from here, you can access things like with a single touch, if you wanted to go to bed at night, you can turn everything down in your house, lights off, security on, the heating set back to the right temperature, and you've got confirmation everything's locked up. So you go to bed with peace of mind. Another neat thing is if you, say, have children at home while you're at work or you have an elderly parent who lives somewhere else, you can also check on them through the web, correct? Absolutely. One of the ways we've designed this is to allow parents who work to be able to keep an eye on the kids, know when the kids got home from school, which one got home from school. Did Susie get home but Bill isn't home yet and it's still it's 5 o'clock already? So send an email to me at work to alert me that I need to find out where he is. Perfect. And uh, Howie's going to pan over in just a second. You'll be able to see the, as we, as we wrap it up here for this half hour, you can see the uh, security camera that uh, is throughout the building here. Howie wants to pan over to the computer's monitor there, off to the monitor there. There you go. You can see us over here on the other side of it. Very, very neat, John and Gwen. I'll tell you what, I want one of these houses of the future. The best part, parts of this are available now. Other parts of it will be ready by the beginning of next year. So uh, it's not that futuristic. I know, but with yeah. a security camera, you can't run around naked in your own house anymore. Uh, well, you're the only one that will have the code to it, so nobody else can break in and look at you while you're at your house. Yeah, well. So. All right. All <laughs> right. Thanks very much, Mark. Sure. See, that's what I think of. Uh, no more running around naked in the house. Here. <laughs> All right, Ed. Thank you very much. Gwen, All right. John. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm, I'm Gwen, so this is my yeah. line. How often have you gotten home from the grocery store only to realize you've forgotten to get a whole bunch of ingredients that you need for dinner? That won't happen anymore if you live in the home of the future. Our 8 News reporter Morgan Dean <laughs> joins us now from a working version of the house. Hey, Morgan. Hey, I'm kind of slacking out on the Lazy Boy sofa in the uh, family room. You know why? We've been talking about all the different ways that you can use computers here in the house to check all the stuff, to check and see what's in the refrigerator. Well, guess what? You don't even need the computers. You can use your TV set. It's that easy with the home of the future. Down here at Invensys, John Sherwood joins us again this morning. Thanks for slacking out with me here in the family room. Hey, we're enjoying ourselves. Thanks. Okay, so we're watching The Matrix here on DVD. We've got it uh, up on the DVD player. Now say we want to check and see what's cooking in the kitchen. How easy is that? We just change the channel on the TV using our remote control and we can see that uh, the roast is ready. It's time for dinner. Okay, so that's just giving you a live output of the oven in the kitchen. Show me some of the other things that you can use here just by dialing stuff up on the remote. Well, what we can do here is we can go and check on a variety of things. Like, for example, um, I can come over here and uh, check on the lights. And let's say I'm going to bed at night and I want to turn everything off. So uh, in this case, I'll, I'll turn the lights on here. So uh, you know, we would just go over here, and there we go. Lights are on. Now I'm ready to go to bed. Lights are off. That simple. I don't have to get out of my chair. And what it also means is if you've got someone who's disabled or handicapped or elderly, has mobility problems, that means now they can control everything in the house from their easy chair or their wheelchair or without having to get out of bed. It can make their life a lot easier, add to their quality of life. Uh, another thing is for people who say the husband in the house likes it to be hot in his rec room but likes it to be cool in the bedroom, you can change and control all that with the TV set with never even having to get up, correct? Absolutely. You can have different temperature in each room of the house, and, and that part of our system is available for sale today. And that can either be installed in new homes or it can be retrofitted to existing homes, either with boilers or with hot air systems. Perfect. Well, thank you, John. Thanks to all the folks here at Invensys that have gotten up this morning to show us this. Very, very neat. We're going to have some links on our website coming up later today that if you want to look and get some more information, you'll be able to check with these guys and see about getting the home of the future installed in your home. As we were talking about earlier on today, they can use this and put this in with existing wiring in your house. They don't have to tear out the walls. 
very, very neat, guys. I tell you what, I don't want to leave. This house is so cool. I don't want to go home to mine. I see. Mm. Well, you All right. have to get up out of that chair. Yeah, well, Thanks, that's Morgan. the other thing. It's a very comfy chair. <laughs> Terrific. I wonder if the price of it all is comfortable. That's the question we didn't ask. Mm.